shop in Naalehu on Hawaii Island. Now, folks, if you love this sweet bread, and who doesn't, we are going to get a behind-the-scenes look at how it's made today. I'm here with the general manager, Connie Coy. Uh, Connie, tell us, what is the first step? Well, the first step is measuring of all of the ingredients. And we do that every night from scratch. Once that is completed, then we start the mix. Okay, great. So tell us uh, what the ingredients are. Well, it is a secret recipe. Okay. However, um, we have our water, our shortening, and then now Bradley is in adding in all of the dry mix. Okay, this is a Mac Daddy mixer. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, we do a big volume, so of course we use a bigger piece of equipment to do the job. Yeah, actually I was going to ask you about that because tell us how much bread uh, and pastry is made in this space? Actually on a daily basis we can do as much as over 2,000 units in a day. Okay, so what happens after this is mixed? Once this is mixed, then we need to let the yeast do its work and let it rise, which is a very important part of the process. Okay, through the magic of television, our dough is ready. We let it sit for about 20 minutes so that it could rise, right? Okay, so Connie, what's happening now? Actually, Bradley is cutting and scaling the pieces of dough. Once that is done and he has the desired weight, he tosses it into our bread sheeter, which will then roll it down out in more uniform um, lengths to make it easier for the baker here to put it into its final shape and then put it on the pan. Okay, I am just gonna get in there and help my friend Samson. How does that sound? Sounds good. Okay. All right, I am doing it. This is kind of fun. Oops. Good. Okay, now what? Now done? once this is done, then you put it on one of the racks here. I want to do that part, yes. Okay, is there a trick to this? Well, just go nice and even, nice and outwards. Has to go across that way. We usually try to fit 14 on one pan. So Connie, tell me again, how much, what, actually I want to know, baker's hours, when do you guys actually start work? We're up way before the birds are. Our first shift starts at midnight. And we typically run um, throughout the course of the day and finish off maybe at about nine or so in the evening. So it's a long process. Wow. And in this kitchen, this is where the bread is made. This is where the pastry is made. That's right. All of the bread items are made in this facility here. All right. Well, Connie, thank you so much. Now, once this is all done, it goes into the oven? No, actually no. it goes into our proof box, which will help to expedite the rising again. It goes to another um, rising stage. We go and we cool them off. Then from there, we'll go ahead, inspect it, package it, and then send it off for distribution. All right, okay. Yes. That's a long process, but so it worth is. it. All right, Connie, thank you so much. You're welcome. When I'm ready to retire, do you think I can come back and maybe get a job here? Oh, definitely. Okay. We could use the help. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you.